This is module four, lesson six, side two. Number two, min skip counts by sixes to find the total square units in the rectangle below. She says there are 36 square units. Is she correct? Explain your answer. Well, to start, I'm going to skip count the same way that min skip counted by sixes. So I'm going to label 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. My skip counting is the same if I go down one column. I would also like to check by continuing to fill in my a picture and then count each square individually. So I'm going to continue the line up and again these lines up to the top. Then I will continue the lines across until I see each side. When I look across the top, I see that there are six centimeter pieces. When I look down the side, I see there are six centimeter pieces as well. So I can write a multiplication problem similarly to how I did on the front, which is six times six. Six times six is 36. So is she correct? Min is correct because there are six centimeter sides and a total of 36 squares. Number three, the tub in Paige's bathroom covers the tile floor as shown below. How many tiles are there are on the floor, including the tiles under the tub? This is like a picture like we had on the front where we need to continue to draw the lines. So we're going to draw over the picture of the tub and continue the lines across so that we can get all of the measurements. I'm also going to continue the lines down so that I can see all the squares. Once I have that, I can label the side measurements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine squares here. On the bottom, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares on the bottom. So I can write a multiplication problem nine times ten. 10 groups of 9 is 90. There are 90 tiles on the floor. So for that problem, we just continued the picture pretending the tub wasn't there. Number four, Frank sees a book on top of his chessboard. How many squares are covered by that book? Explain your answer. You will continue this problem on your own, similarly to how we did number three. Use your pencil to continue to fill in the squares to cover the book. 
Then pay attention to only the squares covering the book to answer the question, how many squares are covered by the book? You do not want to include the squares that are not covered by the book. Finally, use words to explain your answer.